all Fatsia japonica trees look like. We have Fatsia trees all through our gardens. And um, I don't know if these are the tallest ones. They're getting up there. Some of them I planted in the early 1990s. So these are Japanese Aurelia. They're broadleaf evergreen. And they grow very good with palm trees. Here's a cluster of big ones right here up over the roof of our house. So these ones might even be bigger. Absolutely beautiful. They do flower in the winter or late fall, uh, white flowers. And they always have a nice tropical look about them. So try these in your own garden. And uh, some of them have massive leaves. Let's go check out some ones with gigantic leaves. Some of them I grew from seed too, so these are variegated, variegated fatsia trees. There's Schefflera. These ones here. Look at the foliage on these. It's one of my seed grown there. Absolutely beautiful. These are growing in the shade. And there's the albino one right there. Lift that up. Albino fatsia. Variegated. And then we have this one right here. Another fatsia tree. Another one of my seed grown here. This one's going to have really big leaves too. And then another one there that's variegated. They're beautiful. They're really a nice addition to any exotic garden. So variegated and then uh, just regular green. Oh, there's another one there. There's another one of my seed grown in here. They're a pretty hardy plant. They don't look like they would be cold hardy, but they're pretty cold hardy. So try one in your own garden. They're a beautiful BLE for any temperate garden. Fatsia japonica or Japanese Aurelia is the common name. And they actually do self-seed here. Thanks for watching. Cheers.